Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Frost and welcome back to another top 5. Hell yeah, today we're doing a top 5 on Jurassic World Evolution, which was the recent walkthrough series that I did. So yeah, we've completed the series now and I figured I'd do my top 5 favourite dinosaurs. So these are going to be my favourite dinosaurs, I've released each one throughout the series, so if you're, you know, you're watching those videos then you might know which one's which. But the game's finished now, this is the last ever bit of content I'm going to do on the first game. I might play the second game some point in the future now that it's out. However, this is going to be my top 5 favourite dinosaurs. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, as per usual these top 5s. Um, you know, if you want to suggest a top 5 for future reference, whether it be for the normal ones I do, like Call of Duty or Overwatch or GTA, then feel free to do so either in the comments or my Discord server. Link in the description to that. And yeah, with that being said, let's get into this, shall we? So coming in at my number 5 spot, I have put the Ankylosaurus. Now, this might confuse someone, but let me just remind you, this is all my list. If you have a different list, feel free to do so. But the Ankylosaurus is my number 5. And why that might confuse someone is because the Ankylosaurus isn't really a talked about dinosaur as such. Realistically, the only time it was shown was in Jurassic World and also... Um, I think it was in the fifth one. Um, don't quote me on that, I've not watched the fifth one in a while. But yeah, I do think it was in the fifth one as well. But the Ankylosaurus is so cool. Like, take a look at this thing. The spikes on its back, the armour, the big club tail. How can you not like this thing? Not only does it look cool, right? But also in-game, it's... Well, in-game it's a bit picky since it does have a population of like eight, I believe. And so then it gets, it's a bit picky in game, but it looks cool, right? Look at the dinosaur, look at the design of it. The noises it makes are cool. How it fights is also cool, because it's obviously got the armour of protection, and it uses the big club tail to smack someone in the face, so that's always a bonus, right? But yeah, the Ankylosaurus is just a really cool dinosaur. But yeah, it wasn't shown in the movie, so no, it doesn't have that nostalgic value as such, unless you're kind of getting demolished by the Indominus uh, nostalgic value. But not really. It was shown for a brief moment in Jurassic World um, and the, the second and the second Jurassic World. I forgot his name. At least I think it was. But yeah, the Ankylosaurus is just a really cool dinosaur in this game. They designed it really well, and yeah, it's one of my favourite dinosaurs. Although number five was the hardest spot to pick, I have picked the Ankylosaurus just because of those reasons. Where it's cool, it, you know, it has cool fighting mechanics. And it looks awesome. It looks like a goddamn tank. How can you not like the look of the Ankylosaurus, right? It's just... Even if it's not your favourite, you must like the look of it, right? Surely. Number four, the Raptor. Now, this is a classic, obviously. I imagine if anyone else has a list, the Raptor will... has a high chance of being on it. Uh, the Raptor holds that nostalgic value throughout every single movie. And so, yeah... Obviously, they started off as the bad or one of the bad guys for Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 2, Jurassic Park 3. What a wank movie that was. But obviously, the Raptors hold value because then they turned to the good guys in Jurassic World and the fifth movie. As I said, I don't remember its name. But yeah, the Raptors hold significant value to a lot of people. They're so cool, right? The sound editing with the Raptors was really, really well done. How they make the same noises in the movie. And I'll bring this point up later for another dinosaur, but yeah, the raptors are awesome. Now, they are picky because they do like packs of four, but that makes sense because they are pack animals. So yeah, it makes sense that way, but they are a bit picky in game, so be careful. But yeah, the raptors are really cool looking. Like, the design on them is so well done because, you know, even... Well, obviously they're based off the movie, but the game put like a skin pack in, which you had to pay real money for. But honestly, it gave you the raptors from Jurassic World, so you could get a blue, Delta, Echo, and Charlie, I think the last one's called. And yeah, really cool dinosaur, really well done. I love the sounds it makes, it looks cool. They don't require a lot, which is nice, so you know, if you have a smaller island, you can just fill up with raptors, so it's always better that way. The population's high because you can stick them in the likes of the Indominus and T-Rex and stuff. And yeah, it's just a very, very cool dinosaur. The only needs it has, it needs like three others other than itself, but yeah. Other than that, cool dinosaur, my number four spot. 
<laughs> Number three, the Brachiosaurus. Now that's what also might surprise people. Um, out of the conversation I've had about Jurassic World, I've never heard anyone say the Brachiosaurus is their favourite. Which kind of surprised me because I actually love the Brachiosaurus. It held like a really significant value in what Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, and and the fifth one, because in obviously in Jurassic Park, uh, it eats the leaves out of one of the character's hands. I think it was Ellie Sattler. Correct me if I'm wrong there, or it was on the kids, one or the other. Anyway, holds significant value that way. Obviously in Jurassic World, was it was it in Jurassic World? I honestly can't remember. Uh, that's kind of sad, honestly, but yeah, I do not remember if it was in Jurassic World or not. I know in 5 they had the heartbreaking scene where they had to leave the Brachiosaurus behind, so it was on the Isla Nublar at the time of Jurassic World, but I don't know if it was there or not, you didn't see it in the movie. Alright, well, moving on. To the game. Sound editing is well done, I love the noises it makes, you know. It looks awesome, so they've done it well. Who doesn't like this thing, man? Come on, look at the design of it. It's the gentle giant of the dinosaur world. Like, I'm pretty sure at least everyone has a Brachiosaurus in their park, just because of how cool it looks. Like you cannot, you cannot look me square in the eyes if you like the Jurassic Park franchise and tell me the Brachiosaurus isn't at least somewhat cool. Doesn't need to be your favourite, but you cannot tell me this dinosaur is not cool. The long neck, the bump on the head, you know, an extremely cool dinosaur. It's just, that's all I can say about it really. It's one of my favourite dinosaurs because of how cool it is. I don't really mind the nostalgic value of it as such, but you know, it's a cool dinosaur. I loved having it in my park. I've released quite a lot of Brachiosaurus apps, so it's quite sad. But yeah, the Brachiosaurus is my number three spot and now we're halfway through the list. Number two, you kind of guessed it was going to be on this list. And it's the T-Rex, of course it's the T-Rex. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone has a T-Rex on one of their lists. It's like the Velociraptor. And yeah, so there we are, the T-Rex. There was, you knew it was going to be on this list, you just didn't know where. And it's here, number two. But yeah, T-Rex is a fucking cool dinosaur, isn't it? Like... In this, well, obviously in the movies, which you know I talk about a lot because it has nostalgic value. The T Rex is in every single one of them. It was like the Raptors. It's you know started off as the enemy, and then, well, more like an anti-hero in Jurassic Park, and Jurassic Park Five. Yeah, it's more anti-hero than good guy because as a T Rex at the end of the day. So, I'll go with that. But yeah, the T-Rex is so cool. The sound editing from both movie and obviously because it was imported from the movie into the game. That's why they sound similar. That's why they are the same. It sounds really good. I love the T-Rex in this game. Obviously, it looks like a T-Rex would in the Jurassic Park movies, which is awesome because everyone likes the design of the T-Rex. As I said with the Brachiosaurus, even if the T-Rex isn't on your favourite list, you cannot look me square in the eyes and tell me this dinosaur is not cool in this game. Everyone's released one at least quite a few times, at least once, if anything. And yeah, don't tell me you regret it because you don't. This thing is so cool looking, it doesn't require much. You can stick it in with raptors and deinonychus and other dinosaurs like that. It's, you know, it's a cool dinosaur. It holds nostalgic value, obviously, which might be a sucker for some, but you know. All in all, my second favourite dinosaur is this one. Now, you're probably wondering what my number one dinosaur is. Well, it's the Spinosaurus. Now, if you watch my walkthrough series, which is now finished, because this is the first of our, uh, you know, walkthrough top five I've done since Nature Payback, you'll know that I mentioned the Spinosaurus was my favourite dinosaur in the, the last few episodes, because that's when we got it. But the Spinosaurus is so cool. And it's weird because it was only ever shown in one movie, and it was the worst movie in the whole Jurassic Park franchise. And it was three, because three was wank. I think we can all agree, if you don't agree with my list today, you can agree with one thing, and that is Jurassic Park 3 was a wank movie. Okay, now we've got that out of our systems, let's talk about the Spinosaurus. Easily one of the coolest dinosaurs to exist, right? It looks menacing, and that's what I like about it. It's obviously a carnivore, but... It, it's menacing. You look at the thing, and if it was in real life, you'd be 
terrified. Obviously, you'd be terrified if any dinosaur came running at you, even if it was like a triceratops. But you saw a Spinosaurus like, in front of you, you knew, or you know, you're going to be fucked. And that's how, that's how I like the design of it. It looks so cool. The long kind of mouth, the spine on the back. It's not the tallest dinosaur in the world, but, but it's, it's tall enough that you get fear sunk into you. I like it. And also, it's one of the only carnivals that like fish, which is interesting. Interesting fact for you there. At least the fish feeder. At least from what I've seen, a lot of carnivals don't like that. So yeah. But on top of that, it looks so cool. Like, how can you not like this? The design, the sound, it's all really well done in Jurassic World Evolution. Obviously, Jurassic World 3 was not a good movie, but the Spinosaurus being the main antagonist in that movie was, you know, it was a bonus point to it. And yeah, I just love the Spinosaurus. It's my favourite dinosaur, because of how cool it looks, how menacing it looks. The sound is well done. I mean, it is quite needy. It likes a lot of uh, wetland, but I mean, you know what? I don't mind. It may have its downsides, but whatever, right? Well, anyway, that's my list. What's your list? Do you want to put it in the comments on my Discord? Feel free to. Anyway, I've been your boy Frost. That's my top five favourite dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution. Yeah, peace.